hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well this is canon printer canon pixima mg 3650 i'm going to show you how to scan your document with this printer to scan a document with this printer with for your, to your laptop okay stick the document you want to scan okay on top of the scanner face down close it now I go to the image garden open up an image garden so this printer and laptop both of them are connected to the same network and we set up this printer okay from the image garden you need to select scan select scan go to the image garden and select scan okay select scan and what when you select scan then you need to go on top okay go on top and select if you want to scan photo then you select photo if you want to scan document you need to select document which is pdf okay so select pdf okay and once it's done that the scanner is preparing to scan do not disturb now communication cannot communicate with the scanner so you need to select scanner okay now the scanner that is here is previous okay so we need to first of all make sure we select the correct scanner go to the settings okay then the next thing you need to do you need to go to where they go on top okay and select where you see setting where you have plier image and screwdriver image select on it okay when you select on it then you can select the particular print specific printer okay so this printer is mg3600 series so you select on it if you have another printer then you need to make sure you select that particular one so this mg3600 series click select okay click okay click okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to go okay select pdf scan there we go so now this document is scanning If you want to scan the second page open up the scanner okay and remove it okay put another document you want to scan you can do this as many times as you like okay close it now go to the scan again image guide and select scan again so now this document is scanning Okay, when you finish, click exit. And when you exit, the document will scan is on top. Okay, so once you scan your document, the image garden, once you finish, click exit, the document will save. Okay, now at the moment, this document is on in the image garden. If you want to save it, then you need to select this document. Okay, select on it. Then at the bottom, you select save or you can you can also select file when you select file on top you can select open rename delete save print okay so if you want to save this file you select save now it gives you option for you to save this file wherever you want to save it you can save it in the document folder okay click ok then you can you can name the file you can use your type your name or anything you want to save this click save now this document is save okay if you want to print this document out we scan select on the document go on top again on top of the file select print and this document now is ready to print you need to make sure 
go to the printer make sure you select okay make sure you select the correct printer series okay this printer is mg3600 series select on it okay now also make sure you select correct paper a4 paper is what we have here now media type is plain paper and paper source is from paper train you can also select paper range and also select advanced settings okay from the advanced setting it give you option for you to select this standard quality okay you can have it high standard or draft or custom okay and select print Okay, you can see there is notice printing click here the ink cartridges has been stored select okay okay there we go so there, 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 there was a notice okay Here we go. This is the document with scan printed out. This is the first one. The second one is coming. Okay, this is the document with scan. Yeah, this first and second one I also want to mention if you want to you can also change the color by selecting the print go to the file and select print okay and when it's ready then you, you go to print settings we will show you the advanced number of pages okay select standard Okay. You can also custom customize. Okay, from the image garden what i can see here from the image garden we just need to print it out it didn't didn't have, give us option to print this color i mean black and white okay you can actually save this document in your folder okay you can cancel it and save it then go this this file like we saved it earlier you, you can just go to where you save this file okay go to the settings okay this the open up the file okay for instance you can just print select print then change the color okay so there are so many ways to do this so you can scroll down and select the color instead of color you select black and white okay so this is how this work okay so if you don't have the option to print the color from the image garden you can also do this save the document on your food on your computer any particular do document you save like this one for instance okay you can print it out select print go to the color change it to color okay and select print 
this document now is, is printing Okay, this is the document printed out. Okay, so this is the second one. I also want to, if you go to the image garden, okay, if you go to the image garden, the document will scan, okay, it's still here in my image garden. So, I've, like I said, you can save this document, then go to your email address and attach this document and send it to somebody. Okay, if you want to do that, then you need to go to your email. For instance, we close the image garden, then go to the email. Okay, this is my email address go to new and add new okay then type the email address of the person you are sending this document i'm going to send it back to myself now if you want to attach this document then you need to go on top and select insert okay so go on top and select insert then also when you select insert then you select select file file okay then they give you option for you to add a, the file you want to add. Then you need to go and look for this document document you want to add. Okay, you can go to document. Okay, you can go to document. Then they give you option for you to scroll down to look for the document you want to add. Okay. So, so you can add any particular document. So this document now, click attach. Click click it open and this document now is attached to my inbox so you can send this document to whoever you want to send the click send and this document now is sent to my inbox remember I send this back to myself okay so this document now is going to come back to my inbox after a few minutes so this is how this work can refresh refresh the email so what I'm doing now is just refresh the email until the document waiting for the document to arrive here we go the document just arrived okay click it open this is the document I sent is opening okay so guys this is how to scan your document print it out save and share if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you